Hi guys, it's Max here with dartsreviews.tv in association with dartsplanet.tv. Today we've got some data darts to review and they are the Ricardo Petrets Go darts. Pikachu as is known. I'm looking forward to giving this. It's got a couple of different grips on there. Obviously the weight's quite nice, 23 gram, that's what I throw with. But uh, what we'll do is we'll go and get them unboxed and have a look at them and then we'll go and have a throw. So head over to the table. Okay, we're over at the table with the data darts here. These are the Ricardo Pitrexco, I believe it is. Pikachu, basically. And we've got his darts here, 90% tungsten. Usual sort of packaging from data dart. Got the window there showing the three darts inside. Data dart logos dotted about. The name of the player over on the back. We got a little bit here from about Ricardo. And obviously, Pikachu Pitrexco. And obviously down here on the barcode, we have the Pikachu 23 gram darts. We're going to open them up and have a look at them. Oh, all oh, right, you get quite a few extras with this one. Which is really, really cool. You got three different sets of Pikachu flights, which is really cool. Let's move those out the way. And obviously the darts here in this sort of like regular sort of data dart cardboard insert. We'll get a dart out and have a closer look. And here we go. Right, starting at the front, we've got the standard data dart point here, the matte black finish and then we've got sort of like a conical sort of nose there some medium sort of length and then we've got this beautiful sort of fine extra milled grip here at the front it's sort of like uh scattered rings with extra sort of like drilled out circles built in and that's that's very grippy considering it doesn't look it close up but uh, yeah, I can definitely feel that with my hard fingers. But as this is where I'd most probably have my leading finger, I, I think you could get a decent amount of sort of balance and grip with that to aim your dart. And then obviously we go into the German colours here, so, or the Pikachu colours, whatever you want to call them, the yellow, red and black. These are sort of scattered rings going into a fine sort of, it's actually it sort of like increases as it's like a smaller and then they go slightly bigger ring grip there before you go to the center of the dart that has the data dart logo and the standard ring and then we've got a red and black ring going all the way back to another yellow red and black but these rings are all sort of like quite universal not a massive gap in between them. I can't feel too much of the grip with my fingers, considering this is where I would be holding. But yeah, it feels a nice weighted dart. It's a nice straight barrel. That front grip really does look good. I wish I was a front thrower so I could throw from there. Um, but I'll give these a go and they feel nice in the hand. A little bit smooth for me at the back, but we'll see how we get on. These ones are the 23 gram and these come in at 52 millimeters long, which is really good because you get the whole length of the dart with grip there because it's a very small back. And these are 6.2 millimeters wide. So these are quite thin, um, which can suit uh, quite a few players if you want to get really close grouping and what have you. Um, but I'm looking forward to throwing these. Obviously, you've got the standard data dart stems there, which are sort of like medium and the little ring grip. But I'm definitely interested in having a throw of these and see how we get on. So let's head over to the board. Okay, we're over the board with the uh, Ricardo Petretzko darts, the Pikachu. Um, definitely um, looking forward to giving these a go. I really, really wish that that front milled grip was all the way up the dark because I think that would have been an interesting throw. But we've got those narrow rings at the back. We'll have a decent throw and then um, I think we'll go into our 201 practice routine. Would have preferred a smaller setup. But I think we should get on all right with these. They're a nice thin dart. So let's have a go. Oh. 95. Drifted a little bit into the treble five there. But I'm happy with that. Just another throw. Make sure it wasn't too fluky. 
drifted into the fives again. Next two is nice and straight. Only a 45, but I think I've got scripts for these. Yes, we're going to our 201 darts practice routine. See how many darts we can do it in. Game on. One hundred. We like to start with a steady ton. One hundred and one left to get. Oh dear! Pulled that into the treble fifteen. Eighty four scored. Means we've got 17 left to get. There we go, in two darts. Eight darts, that's not bad considering I've grifted a little bit there with the darts. Right, well, what can I say? It's a nice thin grip. It's sort of like steady, sort of. To me, it's a little bit smooth because I've got hard fingers. But uh, yeah, there's a regular amount of grip there for a standard ring. Like I said, that front grip feels really, really nice. My, my finger rested nicely on that, which was really good. Um, gave me a little bit of control, but I did sort of drift a little bit. I think I was just catching it when I was releasing with my front finger. But uh, yeah, I think we'll go and have a review on these. Okay, so we've had a throw with these, and obviously we've had a closer look at the dart. These are quite nice. I did like them. They're a decent sort of... So it width there, the grip wasn't too bad. I really would have liked to have thrown on that front grip, that extra milling. I think that would have been really, really nice. But typical sort of packaging, really. The darts themselves are really good. I think they're going to suit quite a few people. The 23 grams coming at, what, 6.2 millimeters. So they're nice and thin. You get some decent group in. I didn't do too bad with them. I got eight darts. That's sorry, a little bit less than my usual average of nine. And I started off with the ton, but I sort of faffed about a little bit, which was a real shame. Um, I'm going to give these darts a grip rating of two, because that's where I was holding. Obviously, the type of grip there with my hard fingers and thumb wasn't the grippiest of sections, but it gave me enough to control the flight of the dart and the release. Um, these also retail in at 55.95. These are 90% tungsten, so it's about an average sort of price for them. And obviously you get those extra flights in there, which is really handy. That saves you a bit of money as well. And I think it's a good starting point, really. It's going to suit quite a few different people, whether you're a rear, front or mid throw, because there's a couple of grip sections there. Um, obviously, if you've got a set of these, or if you're going to get a set, head over to dartsreviews.tv or even download the app. Let us know what you think. Let other people know what you think. Or even if you disagree with anything I said, if you didn't like the grip or the style of the dart. And head over to YouTube, tick notifications and subscription. Because then you can keep up to date with all the reviews coming up. And you can check through all the videos in the past as well. And hopefully, I'll see you all again soon.